Hey everybody, welcome back. Cheers. We're going to be covering a lot of the planets and moons that we already know about. Uh, try to go through some of those and talk about them a little bit. We learned about these things from either like the direct or interviews or marketing campaigns, things like that. It's going to really just be more of a, a quick glance, a, a compendium of what we know so far. And I am really looking forward to digging into some of this. First, I want to point out that the loadout did a list of all 48 known worlds. So we know that there's going to be a thousand, maybe over a thousand planets. There's over a hundred different star systems. We're going to be able to uh, find those, visit those. There's going to be planets in a lot of them. The 48 confirmed planets are this list right here. We're going to kind of follow the, the article here and just kind of deep dive this article, which is fantastically put together by the folks over at The Loadout. Grace Dean at The Loadout, you are a legend. Todd Howard did mention that they're going to be single biome planets and multiple biome planets. The first system that's mentioned is Arcturus. There's not a lot known. They they have confirmed that Arcturus 3 is in the Arcturus system. So this is the information we've gotten about Arcturus 3. It is an ice giant. Alpha Centauri, that's what this image is for. Uh, the star system is one we know the most about. It is the main hub for the United Colonies. We know that there are three planets with one to two moons, and then a gas giant with several moons is what it says here. Jemison is the main planet in Alpha Centauri, and that's where New Atlantis is found. Chawla, Gagarin, Jemison, and all of us. Other, other than Jemison, which is definitely terrestrial and habitable kind of planet, uh, I don't think we know anything else about the others. So if we zoom in on Alpha Centauri, we are looking at uh, the star here, and then it looks like the three planets, some moons, looks like a gas giant with rings and multiple moons. The next system we have is the Arane system, and they're saying it's not too far from Al Alpha Centauri. We know that Arane 1 is in this system. Next is the Narian system. We know that Vectera is in the Narian system. In the timeline, the people People of the Narian system voted to join the Freestar Collective. Okay, so there's people there. It, it's inhabitable in some way or another. It just looks pretty desolate, but then there's a lot of Earth that looks pretty desolate too. So let's not judge a planet by its cover. So confirmed planets are Megreth, Nera, and Vectera. We don't have an image of that system. So next is the Nera system. We have Hazara, and it has a moon, Hazal. Let's zoom in and take a look at this. And this would be Kazal. Boy, it looks kind of like indoor, doesn't it? I would definitely check this place out. Next is the Porima system. So it sounds like we've got mainly moons listed for this system. Multiple planets with multiple moons. Uh, that looks like a gas giant. These are maybe more terrestrial. Three and five are probably assumed to be planets at this point, but 4C, 4D, and 5A have been shown to be moons of their respective planets, four and five. So the next system is Procyon A. We only have one confirmed planet, and that is Procyon 3. Moving on to Sol! <laughs> this is our own solar system. The one that you grew up learning had nine planets. I mean, well, some of you grew up learning it had eight planets, and I'm very sorry about that, but I digress. It looks like Mars is going to be the most prominent planet in the partic this particular system. There's a mining operation there. I know that much from the Starfield Direct. The major city is Cydonia. You've always wanted to go to Mars. Now's your chance. The other planets that it looks like we'll have access to in some capacity are Jupiter, Mercury, and Pluto. And then we'll be able to visit Io, which is one of Jupiter's moons, and Luna, which is the real name of Power Moon. Tau Ceti. Tau Ceti is the next system. It looks like all the planets have been named numerically. This system was confirmed in the Starfield Direct. Uh, Lunara, that's our next system. We don't know a lot about the Lunara system yet. So it looks like the Three Star Collective has been farming on the planet Vesta. That lets us know there's one planet in the system, at least Vesta. Then we've got just some names of other systems. We've got the Cheyenne system, which I believe is where the Crimson Fleet is, and the Kirx system, Linnaeus, Olympus, and Voli. These are all systems that have been confirmed, but we don't know 
anything about what's going to be inside those systems. So other planets and moons, we've got a lot of names of planets and moons here, but none of them have been confirmed to any particular system. So let's just dig into these other planets and moons. Maybe we can find some that are listed as more terrestrial. I think the current working assumption is based on the naming conventions we've seen. If it has Roman numerals only, it's probably a planet. If it has Roman numerals and a letter, it's probably a moon. We're just gonna play on that assumption. And if it turns out to be wrong, that's okay. This is a scientific journey, so we can be wrong sometimes. The first planet listed is Aquila. Next is Alkiba 4-A, a rocky moon used to demonstrate outpost construction during the Starfield Direct. And we've got Alkiba 7, Bravo, has been seen fighting on this moon. Okay, so it's a moon that people can go to it, inhabit it. Alkiba 10-B, a snow-dusted moon full of mountains. Oh, that's nice. I love winter weather, so I'm really hoping that I can find some cool winter planets, set up a cozy little cabin base of operations there. Next in the list, Algorab 3B. This palmy moon was spotted during the Starfield Direct. So palmy moon, I assume they're talking about palm trees. Maybe it's a beach. Next is Alpha and Drost 3, a mountainous planet that plays host to a large abandoned robotics facility. Altair 2, tech facility crawling with spacer punks. All right, all right, now we're talking. Ancelon, a currently unseen planet that has Crete as one of its moons. Crete is a moon of Ancelon. That's probably how we know that Ancelon exists. Bardine 3, uh, spider wasps. I am not going there. Nope. Beta Turnion 3, a very green planet where plenty of strange fruits can be harvested. All right, the next is Cassiopeia 1. Fun fact. Cassiopeia is my favorite constellation. It looks like Earth with green trees and rock formation. So then we have Cassiopeia 4. A, rocky moon, great view of a Saturn-like planet. Charybdis 3, another planet here from the second release date trailer. We don't see the environment, but somebody is fighting a monster in a building. Charybdis 5, looks like scenic desert scapes. Freya 9B, stormy moon. Oh, I'm really excited about this one. I can't wait. I cannot wait. Groom Bridge 8A. Dino lizard things. Some of you want to pay attention because I know you're dinosaur nerds like I am. Dino lizard things. Groom Bridge 8 Alpha. And now we've got to Crete. Remember, Crete is the moon of Ancelon. You'll come across pirates there. Crimson Fleet looks like is on Crete. <laughs> really? Really, Bethesda? You went there? Okay. Next is Kumasi 3. Grassy planet. Montara Luna is our next planet. It says very low gravity. All right, Nebus is a snowy planet. Oh, maybe there's my winter place. We're definitely going to go there, see if we can build a, a little cabin. It does say that there's an unknown faction on this planet, so we might have to make friends with them before we can build our cozy cabin. Namira 4 Alpha, a moon of unknown origin. It's a rocky region filled with palm trees and other plant life. Right, next is Nisoy. Uh, lots of plants, some man-made structures that look like wind turbines. Oh, cool. Nirvana too. I mean, who wouldn't want to live on Nirvana, right? Oh, hunting cephalopods. Let's maybe not. Nirvana is not very Nirvana after all. Maybe Nirvana 1 will be nicer. <laughs> Sumati is next. A crimson-hued planet. Psi 920. Overrun with Varun Zealots. Well, you know what? They can keep it. Sirma 1. Volcanic-looking planet. Oh, I love volcanoes. Oh, let's go here. Odd rocky structures. Interesting. I definitely need to get the geology on this one. Tadaka 1. Appears to house mysterious alien relics. Vern 2. Uh, the horrifying hunting thorn mantis. Voli. Voli Alpha. We do know that Voli is a system. It was listed in our systems. With Shaki, a dust riddled planet. Ooh, with a not so abandoned science facility. <laughs> Ah, and then we have Aquatic Planet with unconfirmed name, home to the Xeno Fresh Corporation and the Pleasure City of Neon. Okay, so the city is Neon, but we don't know what the planet's name is. And then a dry Western planet with no name says home to the Freestar Collective. And this is where Aquila City is. And that's that's pretty much what we know about the current planets and moons in Starfield. I'm really excited to dig into all this content and go exploring and make all these cool videos in the months to come. Launch is in less than 48 hours at this point. And by the time this video is out, it may have launched. I'm being a bit ambitious trying to push this out before release. We'll see. Uh, either through the direct, through various interviews, 
um, some of the, uh, uh, some of the, what's the word, the thing that you show people to make them want to do your thing. Wow. Marketing. There we go. Currently, they only have one planet confirmed. <laughs> all of the planets have been named numerically, all one of them. 